Hello friends, this is Aditya. In today's video, I'm going to talk about this adapter. It has been in a very controversial topics in my comment sections recently. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can enable this adapter in Linux and how to use it for monitoring mode and package injection. Yeah, this is the same adapter you people have been asking, the TP-Link WN722N. And this is the version 3. And yes, on the box it's clearly mentioned that it doesn't work on Linux and packet injection and monitoring mode is not supported but it is supported and I have found a way and in this video I'll be showing you as I have claimed in my earlier one. Okay, uh, so initially we'll go to our virtual box and I have provided you a link from where you can download this customized version of Kali Linux. Okay, uh, once we have entered our virtual box, we will right click on this settings and then follow these settings, go to this USB, enable USB 2.0. Now connect your adapter. Once you connect your adapter, you'll be able to see a option here, this real time. Just select this one as I've already selected and press the ok key this is your step one now remove your adapter okay now try to start this operating system once your operating system has been uh, perfectly started now what you have to do is just follow this following commands you can get these commands in the comment uh, in the description also all the links all the commands everything will be there in the description so this is the list of commands that you have to follow. Now uh, open your terminal and start pasting these commands one by one. See here is, uh, as you can see, 1107 package can be upgraded. Run apt list upgradable to see them. We don't need to do any kind of things. The numbers will be different in yours. Don't worry. You just have to run this command and go to the next one. Before running the third command, you have to insert your adapter again. Okay, once your adapter has been inserted, there will be no signs of uh, notification in your Kali Linux that the adapter has been inserted. It won't recognize it itself. But now you have to run the third command. Now just take out your adapter, insert it again and now you will be able to see that the list of the networks are visible, your adapter is perfectly working. Now comes the most demanded question, how to enable monitoring mode. So we will start now, as you can see the mode is auto now and after enabling monitoring mode it will be in monitor mode. So just uh, follow the following commands and you will be able to enable monitoring mode. This whole process your adapter should be connected. Okay. So congratulations now your adapter is in monitor mode. Now let's try the best part. Let's try to do a simple deauthentication attack. It's okay if you don't understand of this. Once you start learning you will be able to understand all of this. So. I'll just run the command, you can just see we have collected a BSS ID of the network that I have it in my home. I'll try to deauthenticate a network that is in my house. Don't try it with other people's, don't cause problem to others at least. So 
let me collect all the networks that is connected to my Wi-Fi connection. You can see the uh, as of now three networks connected, and one of them is collecting data in a very fast pace. Uh, that is actually the TV that I have here, and now let's try to authenticate the television. So what you have to do is just follow this command and the authentication process is completed. Now the TV has been disconnected from the internet, from the Wi-Fi and as soon as we exit it's again connected. So hope this solve your problems. Still if you are finding problem please comment me down and if you like this video do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.